without this understanding, you, you simply cannot survive in this environment. Now, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marvelous one because it is really so finally so simple that there is a sea, and then there is the, uh, this intertidal zone, there is a beach. Generally, there is a primary dune on which we stand. Beyond the, uh, a, a succession of secondary dunes, and then beyond that, the back dune, and still follow the bay. And every one of these are quite specific environments, and each of them have specific tolerances. Uh, the sea is marvelous. It can stand any amount of use, assuming no pollution. Uh, no bathers, no, no number of bathers uh, diminish the value of the sea. The same is true of the beach. The beach is remarkably tolerant. It can take the most intensive use without any destruction at all. But the minute one gets to the dunes and the vegetation, suddenly you find a, a zone of absolute intolerance. You see, the roots of the grasses intertwine to form a dense mat which stabilizes the dune against the wind and the sea, and the leaves entrap the grains of sand, and that's how the dune grows. If the grasses are removed or trampled, the sea and the wind will simply erode away the primary dune, and the environments which it protects will be vulnerable. So the dune is intolerant to walking, much less development. Now beyond the dune is a trough, and here limited development might occur. The trough is protected from salinity, wind, and driving sand. Plants can exist here, so the environment is more stable and more tolerant.